Yesterday, we read the story Titch by Pat Hutchins. What do you remember about this story? That's right. Titch was a lot smaller than his brother and sister, but he still had a lot of fun doing different things. Do you remember what this was called? That's right, it's a pinwheel. After we read the story, we spent some time working on a story about our family. We're going to do the same thing today. So I have my writing journal out and I am ready for a new clean page. But before I can get started, I have to think about what are some things that I like to do with my family? Yesterday, I wrote about taking Elsa for a walk. Another thing that I like to do is have dinner with my family. We always spend the time talking about things that we enjoyed about our day and things that didn't go quite so well. We like to call them roses and thorns. So I think I'm gonna draw a picture of my family sitting at the table. We have a rectangular table. So I'm gonna be sure to have that in my picture. And I'm gonna leave some space here because Maverick sits in a high chair because he's not ready to be at a big seat yet. Put the legs of the table in. As I'm drawing, I'm thinking about all the details that I can add to get my readers interested in my writing. I want to be able to tell as much of my story and my picture as possible. Maverick sits at the end. His little feet stick out. And then I sit right next to him because I feed him his dinner. And then usually next to me, I have Delaney, so I can help her with her dinner. And then we have Nicholas, usually sits next to her. Anytime I make a mistake, I can simply just erase and keep going. That's why I like to write with my pencil first. And then Mr. Bellatera sits on the other side of Nicholas. chairs that everybody sits on. I have lots of details I can add to this picture. Everybody's got a plate and their cup.
And now I can start thinking about adding some letters and words to help tell my picture, to help my picture tell my story. I could write T for t table. I could label an F for family. And now I'm ready to try to start writing some words. I like to eat dinner with my family. So I could say that in my writing. I'm gonna to try to use even more sight words. I like to, these are all sight words, so I spelled them correctly. Now I need to use my blending skills, eat. Think about that word, eat. What sounds do you hear? Good. Now I have to do the same with the word dinner. D -i -n -er. With, I'm going to return sweep, my am -m -l -ly. I like to eat dinner with my family. Remember that sight words definitely should be written correctly, even though we're still practicing them. And then when we, what we want you to start trying to do is blend those sounds, write those words that you hear. Even if it's only one or two words, that's okay. We're starting out slow, and then eventually we're gonna be writing lots of sentences, just like Mrs. Bellaterra. So for starting, I want to see a couple of labels in your writing and at least one or two words. Even if you only wrote, eat dinner, that is fantastic. And families, I want you to remember that the kiddos need to start out kind of slow with this process. And it's okay if they only have one or two words and not a complete sentence just yet. We're gonna be building towards that goal very, very soon. So when they are writing, it is important to be sure that they are independently writing on their own so that Mrs. Bates and I can see where we need help and a little bit more support. So remember, today you're gonna to write another story about your family, unless you did not finish yesterday's story. Then you can choose which one you would like to upload into your writing album, or you can choose to upload both, but make sure they are both completed before they are uploaded. Let's go write.